In dense fog, just seeing in front of you can become quite the challenge, especially if you're driving. And your car's headlights don't always shed the best light on the matter. So to determine the most effective setting for your headlights in heavy fog, we brought a car into our testing facility and put Brainstorm's special tech master, Josh Garcia, in the driver's seat. First, we put Josh through a vision LPD. and reaction time test. We found in a normal setting, he's able to identify visual stimuli and put his foot on the brake in an average time of 380 milliseconds. All right, guys, let's fog it up. To put various headlight settings to the test, we then fogged up our lab and shut off the lights. Josh will have to identify the approaching object, and we start with his brightest option, high beams. With these high beams on, I can't see anything. It's just all this light bouncing right back into my face. Thick fog can reflect as much as 90% of light. And when this bright light is reflected back into the retinas, it creates a glare. This is why Josh isn't able to identify the object until it's just nine feet in front of him, or about half the length of a parking space. Stop! That's it, it's a deer. Oh, and based on Josh's reaction time, that means even as slow as just 10 miles an hour, a collision is unavoidable. We then tested both low beams and fog lights, and we found the best result was when they were used together because of their brightness and positioning. The low beams are about 40% less bright, and the fog lights are positioned on the vehicle just about a foot from the ground. This is why, compared to high beams, together they actually allow Josh to see twice as far, and it gives you a fighting chance to avoid an accident.